all right good day welcome loves welcome Ophiuchus this is going to be your reading all right let's see what we have in store for Ophiuchus all right oh yeah check out the community tab all right I do post some things every once in a while so yeah I don't do a whole lot because well I don't really do a lot on social media to begin with so Let's see what we have. Let's do one more shuffle here and get to it. All right, Ophiuchus, you've got the eternal love here. All right. So maybe you don't notice know this yet, but it says that, you know, that this is like love that transcends physical death. All right, so even in the afterlife, this is love. Okay. Who else got this? Can't remember. Somebody else got the eternal love. Maybe it'll pop in if they show up in the reading. All right, let's get for the eternal love here for um, Ophiuchus. We have the forgiveness. <clears throat> All right, so I feel like life is telling you that you need to forgive in order to reduce burdens. All right, so maybe some of you guys already do that. For some of you, the eternal cycle is going to begin here. Yeah, where all things pause and begin again. All right, so with this eternal love, yeah, because then illumination, the light, and then the owl, the light after the darkness here. So fortune meets opportunity with the black cat. So right now there's a pause in this situation, but there's something that's going to happen in the future. All right. And something is going to happen once it gets closer to the end of the month. All right. Because we got the veil with the death. So I feel like something is going to shift. All right. I feel like that's when things are going to kind of start to begin. We'll see if it's going to be like a rapid quick moving or if it's going to be a slow moving. So let's see what we have for the love, forgiveness, death with the veil. All right. So we do have the emperor. We have the knight of swords. All right. So I feel like somebody has got a lot of fucking ego, a lot of pride, but that's how them emperors can be. You know, they can be sometimes too much masculinity can make a person kind of arrogant and assholey. Uh, I feel like somebody's mind, yeah, we have double aces and then, then the nine of cups. Wow. All right. So I feel like somebody here is like in their head of head, like big time. All right. It's like they're, it's almost like it's replaying over in their head. How like passionate they are towards you, how emotional attached they may feel towards you i just feel like a lot of desire and lust and emotion and physical um energy is in this reading already um they really really want this really freaking bad all right and the forgiveness is going to be key when it comes to this so things are on a pause right now but things are going to eventually make sense here Somebody could be watching you, all right, waiting maybe for some type of communication, um, but somebody really wants to like renew and start things, all right? We have the Page of Swords, yeah, so the Emperor's watching you, or Ophiuchus, so it could be an Aries, it doesn't always have to be, all right, just throw that out there. You don't have to be an Aries to be an emperor. It's not like this whole world, every emperor and whatever is an Aries. <laughs> People got to understand that. All right. So with the emperor and the page of swords. Um, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like the pride is getting the best of them. All right. We do have here the high priestess here, um, the hanged man. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, Ophiuchus, but it's like... <clears throat> <clears throat> this is part of your destiny, all right? This is this is just 
part of it. You know, it, this is the two of cups. All right. This is that eternal love. All right. And it's like where all things pause and begin again. All right. So it's like right now things are on a pause. All right. Why am I getting like forbidden fruit? All right. <clears throat> so right now, obviously, no actions being taken here. All right. Maybe somebody's waiting for an apology. Yeah, because they just, the five of wands. There could have been, you know, a disagreement of some sort. We have here, yeah, we have the forgiveness showing up here. It really takes a lot, a load off of the way you feel. All right. And it's like, just take that leap of faith. All right. Yeah, we could ha be very well dealing with the Pisces here. Um, anyway. So I feel like right now what's going on is somebody's afraid to take that leap. Somebody is just, <clears throat> I don't know, very upset about this here. But let's see what else comes out here. The Knight of Cups, you know, comes in with his cup and has love pouring out of it, right? Offering something. So forgiveness is a lot. And like I tell people, you know, forgiving is good. You know, it doesn't mean, you know, you're going to be back together or anything like that. Sometimes it's just like I forgive you, everything's good, and you part your ways. You know, I don't know why people got to get all fucking psycho. Like... It's life. People are going to come and go out of our lives. I don't know why begging and forcing things are going to, I mean, have some integrity. <clears throat> so we do have here the two of pentacles with the six of cups here. All right. So, yeah, this is, this is an eternal love for sure. All right. You guys are binded by the soul. All right. That's why it says eternal love here. And then we saw the two of cups. We got two of cups, six of cups. And then we have the two of pentacles. You guys bring perfect balance. It's a perfect union. It's like you can't get any more perfect. I mean, it's not really perfect because nothing's perfect. But it's as good as it can get. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with a water sign here. All right. But this is like... Maybe even on the verge of flame love. Because that shit could be complicated as fuck. Yeah, the four of wands, it wants to be here. Yeah, it's it's that. Yeah, and then we literally have here the justice card with the ace of cups. So, yeah, I feel like there's genuine happiness when it comes to this union. Genuine emotion. It's like a homecoming between two souls here between two souls and then we have here the two of cups yeah wow beautiful so you guys are open to infinite possibilities you may not think it at the this moment but you guys are which means the moment you guys come together is going to be when you're going to see like the most like the impossible happen here all right, because we have the illumination here and we have the black cat, which means a fortune and opportunity. So you've got so many things and somebody just needs to take action. Maybe you guys live at a distance. All right, because he's flying in on a broom. The four of wands. So there could be some distance here. All right. Yeah, we have the five of cups. So there's. The, wow. Look at all. Look at this. All right, so we have two fives between the three of swords. All right. Ophiuchus, I don't know if this is you or if this is your person here that is feeling sad, depressed, keeping it to themselves. So you're either a masculine Ophiuchus or there's a feminine Ophiuchus dealing with the masculine here. All right. So, yeah, it's like right now, I feel like your person is, it's either you or your person, or maybe even both of you are kind of like hiding 
how it is that you really feel. You both feel abandoned. You both feel left out and sad and down and yeah. And it's like, but, but you're doing it to yourself. There could be some regret here too. And well, somebody has got to make the move. All right. With the Knight of Cups here, somebody has got to do it because you're sitting in limbo here. We have here the Eight of Swords. All right. Yeah. It's like it's so stuck in your thoughts. All right, on what might be. All right, when you're supposed to just be focusing on the now. All right, and understanding that if you're all up in your head about this, there's a reason. All right, somebody could be feeling trapped too. Like there's no way out of like whatever's going on here. Could be a third party. You never fucking know in this day and age. Wow, we have the death card here. So I feel like there's going to be a shift. All right, it could be coming this October, all right, into November with the death card here. There could be an ending in the near future here, all right, within like three, maybe three weeks. But it says where all things pause and begin again, all right? And then we have the eternal cycle begins here where you guys, I feel like, eventually finally come together to finally merge and be together. All right. So let's see what we, we have here. The Ace of Wands. All right. Yeah. You definitely could be dealing with the water sign here. It could be a Scorpio. But yeah, there was an argument here. Or maybe there's going to be an argument that's going to lead to an ending that's going to lead to some form of travel here. Or some form of wake up call. Could be somebody who's got a baby mama. Baby mama pregnant. Something. So, you know, I, yeah, you never know what's out here. So we have the 10 of wands with the devil. So somebody wants to re-spark this light. It needs to be. There's a lot of just lust and passion and physical energy here along with emotional. So somebody here might need to release a Capricorn here. All right. Yeah, it could be a water sign needing to release a Capricorn. Because there's, I feel like, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. All right, yeah, page of wands, clarification. There could be some manipulation here. Somebody that, yeah, uses the kids against everything here. And is very possessive. Because it's what they want. While the other person stresses. All right. So, I've gotten this before. All right. So... I'm going to leave that there, Ophiuchus, and just remember, forgive, even if another person doesn't, even if another person doesn't reach out or anything like that to say, you know, everything's good, you just move on, all right, you did, you make your peace, and that's what matters most for you, all right, and then just let it go, so have a good night.